this video guide, we'll show you how to create the typewriter effect. The typewriter effect simulates the typing of characters on a computer screen. Instead of displaying a simple title, this effect visually creates the title letter by letter with a blinking cursor. Here's what the effect looks like. The typewriter effect is very easy to create in Video Studio, but it does involve a lot of small steps. This can get a little tedious, but I think the effort is well worth it. Let's get started. First, we'll create the blinking cursor. When you're typing on a computer screen, you always see a blinking cursor at the end of the letters. So to simulate that effect, we're creating a blinking cursor. Click the title step and enter the underscore character. Now set these font attributes. Select Arial Black of size 22. Set Bold and Align Left. Make sure multiple titles is selected. Now make the duration 15 frames. We'll talk more about the duration later on. Now click Border, Shadow and Transparency. In the border tab, make sure nothing is selected. Now click the shadow tab. Select glow shadow. Set the intensity to 2 and select blue as the glow shadow color. Now set the soft edge to 50. Then click OK. So now we have an underscore character with a bluish glow which looks like a cursor on a computer screen. Next, we'll make the cursor blink. Select the cursor. Then from the Animation tab, check Apply Animation. Now select Fade and pick the first option. Click Customize. Select Character for the unit and then click the Cross Fade option. These settings will make the cursor blink. Let's preview our work. We'll click the repeat icon so that we can see the blinking effect. As we mentioned earlier, the speed of the cursor's blink is controlled by the duration of the text. A longer duration creates a slower blink, while a shorter duration creates a faster blink. Well, this completes our blinking cursor. Now let's create a section in our library to save our cursor. Select the Library Manager. Create a new section called Typewriter Effect under Titles. Click Close. Now let's go to the Typewriter Library and we'll drag the cursor to the Typewriter Effect Library. Next, we'll simulate the typing of the text. We'll be creating the title called The Matrix is Everywhere. We'll be constructing this title character by character which will progressively build up. Also note that we must save each title piece by piece to the library one after another in sequence. This is very important as we'll see later on. Select the underscore character and enter a capital T before the underscore. Set the duration to 4 frames. Now click the Animation tab and uncheck Apply Animation. Now drag this text to the library. Make sure to add this to the library in sequence. One thing to note, by dragging the title to the library, we're not only preserving the position of the text, but we're also progressively building the title one character at a time. Select the text again and enter H after the letter T. Again, drag this title piece to the library. We'll do a few more letters so that you get the idea. Now, 
Now we've gone ahead and completed the title up to the letter X in the matrix. So now we have half of the title, the matrix. To create the next line, simply place the mouse just before the cursor and press the Enter key. Now once again, using the same procedure, we'll do a few more letters and then finish the rest of the title. Now here in the library, we see our entire set of title pieces, which we built one by one. Now let's put the whole thing together. Let's clear the timeline. First, we want the cursor to blink four times. So let's drag the first clip, which is our cursor, from the library to the title track four times. Make sure there are no spaces between the clips. Next, highlight the rest of the title starting from the second clip. Now drag all these pieces to the title track. And finally, let's add some sound. Let's go to the audio step. Here we have a typewriter mp3 file that we've created and customized just for this project. Let's drag it to the soundtrack and position it at the end of the fourth clip. Now let's preview our typewriter effect complete with its soundtrack. As you just experienced, sound really played a big role here. Adding a typewriter sound to the title really emphasizes the typewriter effect and makes it more realistic. This technique is used quite often in suspense thrillers, crime-related dramas, and science fiction movies. Although it's time-consuming, the end result is well worth the effort. So try it out on your next movie and have fun.